at the 100% custom scratch built top fuel RC drag boat on the block. Uh, this is a, a straightaway boat. I built it to do nothing but straightaway passes, balls to the walls, just straightaway screaming. Okay, twin motor. RC drag boat. Okay, I've actually done a few changes, made a few little custom pieces here. I'm going to show you guys. I try to keep the video short, so stick around. Big B with Ironclad RC. She looks a little bit different than the last time you guys seen it. I've got the boat completely sanded minus the bottom. <laughs> Hadn't done the bottom yet, but I've got it prepped up, basically ready for paint. Okay, it's ready for paint. It, it's turning out really good, really good. We've got to prime it up, fill a couple little low spots, and then paint her, okay? Uh, the most notable, noticeable change I've made to the boat is I built this wooden V8 engine. Okay, a little fuel tank right here. And I uh, basically installed this blower that that G-Man sent me on the motor. Okay, kind of give it a, a scale look. I'm actually going to make another hatch. I've actually got the bottom of this hatch profiled so I can lay a piece of carbon fiber over it with some uh, some release agent wax or whatnot. And I'm going to make a second carbon fiber hatch for the boat. Have two hatches kind of like I did my Ghostbusters boat. One for running the boat, one for Shelf Queen. You know, uh, the, the V8 engine, it's all wood. Okay, I think it turned out pretty good. <laughs> I like it man. I got I got like a little belt configuration back here. Okay, all wood, handmade. Okay, I'm gonna basically basically kinda I kinda modeling it after this this boat right here, the problem child. Okay, got the blown V8 fuel tank right behind the cabin of the boat, you know? Um you can see like the top part of the transmission, the W drive right there. Probably gonna put like, you know, the the magnetos, the distributor, run some wires and stuff once I get it painted up. I uh, also need to put a parachute on the back of this boat. You know, some kind of parachute system. Kind of like, this is a this is a scale model boat, but it's got like two parachutes. One here and one here. Alright, I'm going to kind of put a little dummy parachute back here. And um, I'm not going to do this. I think that's like a trim tab back there. Some type of trim tab or diffuser type deal. That yellow bar right there. I'm not going to put that on my boat because I got a lot of hardware going back here. It's not going to be scale in that aspect. Kind of semi-scale boat, you know. Um, so this is kind of what I built the motor, you know, from. Like the little model I made my motor. is kind of a basic design and I figured it would be good to copy, you know. Um, so I've actually, I was actually going to put these on there, these uh, exhausts from this blower, this plastic blower from a toy uh, truck. But um, I made do those because it's actually be easy. And I've also got these pipes right here. I got eight of them that are bent perfect. And I might put those on there. These are like steel. They're heavy. So I wouldn't be able to run the boat with this on there. Um, but that would look really cool. You know what I'm saying? A little straight pipes out the headers there you know boom okay um well that's basically the most noticeable change you know what i mean it's all hollow it's pretty cool pretty cool motor i'm gonna make this out of a piece of carbon fiber once i get my carbon fiber in that'll be my battery tray and i've actually got my motor mount mocked up out of cardboard right here basically gonna top load you know it'll top load barely top load I can barely get them in there like this you know but uh that's basically what my motor mount's gonna look like I actually uh I actually made two of them this is what it looks like okay it, it actually barely fits in there I gotta put it in like this and I'll actually epoxy it like on that on this wall right here I'll epoxy down down the bottom it'll be like built into the boat uh, I basically made two of them. I wasn't sure if I wanted to mount the motors closer or farther away. Either way would work. Far, this is the farthest I could put them away and be able to get the motors in and out the boat, you know. Um, but it's actually turned out really good. I got my, I got my, my pin in there for the hatch. It goes right there like that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Everything sanded up. You guys seen it last. It was like rough epoxy, just poured epoxy, you know, and it looked rough. Um, I sanded most of that off, and I actually got a couple grams of weight off the boat. <laughs> believe it or not, believe it or not, you know. 
but but I actually added a couple of grams back into the boat you know I, I went heavy on the epoxy you know I, I did a light thin coat first and then I went real heavy in some areas some areas has four or five coats of epoxy some areas only have two coats of epoxy some areas have three coats of epoxy but in the heavily epoxied areas as you can see I sanded off a lot of it you know I was just really trying to fill and shape the boat with that excessive epoxy application right here is a high stress area okay um, you know before i actually added this back hatch area this was just part of my bulkhead one solid bulkhead right here and before i reinforced it i had some flex in the hole so what i did chopped up fiberglass epoxy actually put a whole sheet of fiberglass cloth right here and i wrapped it under you know i wrapped it under the boat and um epoxied it all right same thing on the outside it's got like a like right here it's like rounded on the outside edges right here it's rounded you know and um it really strengthened up the hole you know this is like a high stress area it's the only center support i have in the whole boat so i went kind of crazy reinforcing it so she's she's solid she she should take a 60 mile an hour crash any day of the week she should fingers crossed <laughs> the bottom uh is the only place i gotta sand all right still got to finish that and i'm still working on my my ride pads trying to get them right that's the tough part trying to get them all the same angle all the same width all the same height from one another and it's a time consuming process so uh, i think i'm i think i'm gonna go lucas oil all right that red and white theme it'll be easy to do easy to pull off and uh that's basically the the hull i kind of based my boat off of you know that hole there i couldn't get the this part right here scale on it but um everything else it's kind of favors it a lot you know uh my hatch looks more like something like this you know what i'm saying but um i mean yeah i'm really thinking about the lucas oil paint job i like that red and white this is another one that i liked the nitro circus i think is the name of the boat uh or nitro holic i think uh the problem child paint is pretty nice i like that white and just had all my sponsor stickers on it that would have been cool i'm really I'll, that would be easy to do you know and i like white boats something about a white boat just turns me on you know what i'm saying um so yeah probably do that red lucas oil and then this is the other one that i really liked the spirit of texas but uh it would take me forever to pull off this paint job you know i can actually airbrush that on there and then i can get it really close but i think i'm gonna go lucas oil for simplicity you know really you know what i mean so hopefully you guys like a little update i didn't want to keep you guys too long i'll let you guys go i'm about to go spray this thing with some paint and uh sand the rest of my life away <laughs> we'll see you next time big b with ironclad rc She's getting there, boys. She's getting there. Not much longer. Not much longer. We'll start putting electronics in.